Hey, what's up, guys? This is White Mongo with a very simple coloring video on Manga Studio, and you know, to show you guys how I do it. So, first of all, I just want to say before we start, you might want to, you, you really don't even have to listen to me. If you have the program or the, the software, you can do this as you know, I'm working. Uh, so, let's get right to it. So first off, you pick your color. You know, you have to understand the layers. So once you have the layer you want, you might want to have um, a base layer so that you can see, yeah, and you give it a color so you can see the, you know, other colors, the colors you really want to see. Because if it's all white, you know, you might not see it properly. And I've already picked the color that I want, and uh, I called it the skin layer, and it's above the layer that's, you know, to help me see better if you will. If you're watching the video you understand what I'm talking about. So the skin color, I've chosen the skin color and if you still don't like it you can you know modify it and you know use the fill tool which is by the by the right side use the fill tool to change it until you you know pick the color that you want. Um, so once you're done with that you make new layers and when you you just keep making layers and put the layers over each other and you you just basic the basic thing about manga studio to learning manga studio is just grasping the concept of layers and not just manga studio really any other software like you know any other digital coloring software so we created another layer if you want to see how I'm creating the layers just follow the video and you will you see the buttons I'm clicking on. It's in the layer to um, the layer window, and it's uh, it's the you know s like square thing, like the first icon above, like a square, and uh, that's what you use to create a new uh, new layer. And when you create the layer, you make sure that the the color mode kind of uh, the layer type is on color. If it's on black and white it's not going to show color and that's the problem people have in Mog Studio. Some people thought Mog Studio doesn't have color and honestly that wouldn't make any sense. And also there's also an eye by the side of the layers and clicking the putting the eyes on and off, you know, makes you see it, it makes some layers invisible and it, it, it you just messes with the visibility of the um, the layers. So once you click on the eye, you can't see that layer at all. That's why you can't see the skin. I've already colored the skin, but if you look at the layer layer window, the eye is not showing on the skin layer. That's why you're not seeing the skin color here. So that's what we that's what we're doing. And once we're done with that, we do the same thing for uh, the whole you know the whole drawing. So right now, all we're doing is getting the base color. So right now, I just put it back on. Now I want to mess with the shirts. We created a new layer, and we put that layer above all the other layers. And we we pick a color. We make sure the layer is on blue. You can see I just change it to color. You color over it. That's another layer. You want to try to give each color their own layer. You don't want to have a layer that has two colors. It, it can get a little messy sometimes. So if you have something that's white, you might want to call that layer white. And anything white, you just color. This you, you just use that that layer to color all the white white things in the drawing as we're doing right here. When you talk of purple, we do the same thing. You create you create a layer uh, um a layer for each color. That's how that, that that's how this thing works. And we just do this until we get the whole drawing going. Um for those of you who are uh uh wondering what who what character this is this is a uh, a first draft of a character i i create that's actually an apple black but uh i'm not sure this is how he's going to look but you know these are just character designs that's not the point of the video uh for those of you who don't know the um apple black is the main manga that i'm working on and if you want uh details on that you can check my other channel so for now back to the drawing the character doesn't really matter now we're just trying to learn how to color in manga studio so um you get all the base colors down and you get them to the point, you know, you get them how you want. You know, get it, you know, get it perfect. So right now, we created a new layer called shadow because that's what we're going to mess with. So we pick a color and let's imagine he's outside. So we're picking an orange color. Uh, this is a new layer called shadow and it's above all the other layers, but it's below the inking layer, the layer that I used to do all the inking. If you want to see how I inked this drawing, there's a video that I'll leave in the description. 
and it will probably be in the video responses as well if you want to see me ink this so that will also explain a lot um for the shadow for the shadow layer all i did is just one layer and i picked a color and by the side on the on the right side of the screen you can see where it says uh, by default it's going to be on color set so you change the color detail then you pick a color you make it darker and you mess with the opacity uh, you maybe make it half or something and you use that same layer to do the whole shadow it, it, so it's going to create automatically you know create another color without you making a new layer you're just using one layer only one layer that's the shad for for the shadows just one layer and you mess with it you you mess with the darkness and the opacity and you use it throughout so this is like orange and I made it dark and I messed with the opacity and I used it all over the drawing for those of you who are confused what I'll say is you know just study the video and try to do everything that I do and I'm sure you'll understand and so you do this you get the you go over the the flats that the you know the base color then what I do because really there's so many ways to color in Mog Studio this is more like a an anime style um, and this is my approach to doing things. There are so many artists that have their own ways of doing things. And remember, once you color, even the, even the base colors. Once you're done coloring, you have to you know use the eraser to make sure everything is you know intact. And this this is how this is my style of coloring in Manga Studio. So once you're done with that, the you you've used the shadow layer to basically create all the shadows, no matter what you know what color it's above. You just go over it, and it'll it'll just create its own thing. You know, do its own thing. You just follow the video, and you and you will understand what I'm saying. So right now we're just refining, you know, the shadows and making them look more like shadows. Uh, we've created our own light sources coming from the, you know, from like in front of him, but a little above him. So it's you know shining above him and all that. So after this, this is another part where you have to pay attention. We create another layer that I like to call the light you maybe you, you can call it whatever you want just call it light and what i'm trying to do what i'm going to try to do here is use the lasso tool and the lasso tool is um is in the dialogue the drawing dial it is by the right just watch the video once you pick the lasso tool uh you you I w i'm going to use the lasso tool to get every part of the character except the shadows every part except the shadows so just watch me and make sure you do this on the light la the light layer right now i just made the you know the base color that we did in the beginning to make things more visible i just made that invisible um so what we do i'm making everything invisible leaving just the shadows right and i'm on that light layer then i use the lasso tool and i basically like basically uh, select every other part of it um, select every part of the drawing using you once you're on the lasso tool you make sure you're not using the you know the magic wand make it uh, browse multiple layers that way you know it'll go it, it, it would it wouldn't go over the shadows so once I've selected everything then I create I go to the colors because you make sure the light layer is also a color layer and you pick a light color you don't want to make that color dark and you also mess with the opacity and once you're done with that you fill you basically fill you fill fill the selected parts and it's going to give this sense of light shining on that part of the character then lastly i created another layer called the shine basically just a, for gluing effects and i use, just use the brush tool and you know go over places that I want to shine like maybe his eye or stuff like that and that's going to be the highest layer in this case now I know I'm rushing th through things a little bit but I guarantee that you know if you go through the video step by step and you do exactly what I'm doing in the video you will understand what I'm saying what I'm trying to say or at least you understand it to a point where you can do whatever you want to do um, this is the final piece maybe the next video I will show um 
me putting backgrounds and stuff because he's like outside that's why there was a light layer and uh, a shadow layer the light layer was really bright to emphasize that you know the light was shining on him and the shadow layer was there you know for obvious reasons so maybe in the next video i will show you guys how i do backgrounds in manga studio and mind you manga studio really isn't the best um the best software for uh coloring but uh, if that's all you have, uh, this is how I use it. And if you want to use it this way, you can use it this way. Uh, in the next video, coloring video I have on it, I might just do a background drawing or painting, you know, of w w using this same character. Just, you know, the white, the white background. So I hope you guys learned something. I'm not really a pro with all this stuff, but I do the best I can. Maybe if I learn new, new things, I make new tutorials on coloring in Manga Studio. For now... This is all I got. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is White Manga, and I'm out.